I'm State Senator Steve Stottleman. I represent the 34th District. 34th District is small geographically. Some state Senate uh, seats cover 18, 19 counties. My Senate District is in one county, in Winnebago, the communities of Rockford, Chesney Park, and Lux Park. just elected in November, so I'm a, a freshman lawmaker. Before that, I was a longtime news anchor and reporter for the ABC affiliate here in Rockford and decided to venture into politics. And I think anybody who does that simply hopes they can try to make a difference and move the community forward, and uh, that's what I hope to do. Now, it's been an interesting spring session. We've had a lot of big issues, uh, a, lot of, a lot of tough decisions had to be made. I think there are some important bills we passed in the General Assembly that will greatly benefit the Rockford area. Uh, we begin by with reclaiming first. Uh, Rockford has long been known as a sports tourism leader. However, its facilities have become somewhat outdated the past few years and we're losing business to other communities and other states. And so we can upgrade our facilities that will allow us to attract more tournaments and improve economic development in this area. It's basically doing that by allowing local governments to increase their hotel motel tax. They needed state authority to do that. Through the legislation we approved and I sponsored, we were able to do that. Another interesting bill that was passed this spring that will benefit the Rockford area is called um, Promise Zone legislation. It will develop a framework for individuals and businesses to donate to the Rockford Public School District. Uh, this will allow uh, students, no matter their financial uh, situation, to attend the local community college. And I think it's important because we talk about keeping businesses here and attracting new ones. If they don't have a qualified labor force, uh, they're not going to come here, they're not going to stay here. So if we can improve labor skills, the education, the training that local students have through this program, which will allow them to attend Rock Valley College, I think that will benefit the community. Rockford obviously has been a long time manufacturing community. It's heavily dependent on manufacturing and we still are. And so we tend to be very uh, sensitive to the economic ups and downs. The last recession was very hard in this community. It's taking us a little more time to get out of it, but we are making strides. Manufacturing is slowly improving. We're trying to do a diversify our economy and we're making strides. Woodward Governor is a, a major um, aerospace uh, player it, um, and we recently had some good news in the past year. Woodward Governor is building a new plant in Los Park. We mean more than a thousand new jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars in, in economic uh, benefits. Uh, it just shows that they believe in the Rockford area as a good place to do business. And you know, the aerospace industry is important to the Rockford area. We have a large niche of employers that uh, are that part of the economy. And we have several uh, companies that are part of the aerospace industry in this area. So it's a growing area. It will continue to provide benefits and jobs for this region. So uh, with Woodward Governor as an example, I think it's an area that we really need to focus on, especially when it comes to state legislation, making sure we provide incentives for these companies to continue to do well in this area.